Yep, there we go. Another door. Let's pull it. Oh, what do we have here? Whoa, what is this? What is this place? This looks kind of cool. Oh, well, we're definitely not going back. The door is closed behind us. All we can do is go forward from here. I'll be damned. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. This looks pretty uh, cool. It's kind of like almost like a, a steampunkish feel to it. Like, uh, what's that game called? The Bioshock. Remember Bioshock? Everything looks all steampunkish kind of thing. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. Although it's still very mysterious because this whole area has been just devoid of life. There's just nothing here. So I'm not sure if we're supposed to be finding something, if there's stuff to pick up off the ground, what the mechanics are of the game. I just don't, still don't really understand it other than that we're just running around exploring stuff. What are those things? Let's see, what is in here? Elevator? No. It's like a little sitting area, a gazebo, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. And if you look at the chair placement, the way the chairs are, it's like nothing has ever been touched or used, and everything looks very clean. And the marble floors, the shininess of it, everything looks perfect. You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the soul sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. I guess it will work out fine. So we have a shouting button? Let's try it. The letter R. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. Well, I guess there's nobody home. Obviously, we've been running around forever, and there is no sign of life anywhere. So, kind of shouting out anyone home is a little strange, but anyway, it is what it is. So, I guess uh, R is shouting out anyone home. Interesting. So let's just continue on up the stairs. I'm just trying to find... Oh, this is a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end, so we got to run back. Interestingly enough, we just are not really finding anything, any clues, anything to pick up. I, I have no idea what we're actually even looking for. Maybe we're just trying to find a way out uh, through the palace. Uh, we're just seemingly enough going deeper and deeper. It seems like we're just uh, descending stairways. And it has this feeling like it's getting darker and darker, which is a little mysterious and a little scary. Uh, yeah, there's only just one way to go here, so we're just going down. What is that? Oh, there's something coming. What, what is that? Oh, I think that's a, is that myself? That's a mirror, that's a reflection in the mirror. That's funny. So that's what we look like. Because we can't really turn around and face uh, head on what we look like. So well, I guess we'll just go down here and see where this leads to. If it dead ends, we'll just backtrack and try the other side. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. I do have to agree here. There is no sign of life anywhere. And it's just odd. It's I, I still... I've said this before. I don't quite understand what we're actually trying to do or accomplish 
other than that we are simply just running around. Okay, I think that is the other side, so it's a symmetrical... We, en we ended up coming to the same point, so that's the stairways on the left that goes back up. So this is someplace new. Let's see where this is going to head out to. Uh, oh. I think this is also a dead end? Yeah, there's no... It's dead end. There's no reason to go down there. What's down there? Let's see. Oh, it says descend. So we can jump over this again. Let's try it. <coughs> oh. Okay, so we're down here. I guess we're not going back up. Man, a lot of these places are just one way. Like the door closes behind you. The game's just trying to push you forward, I guess. Kind of linear, but it's fine. I just don't know what, uh... What we're... where we're heading to here. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. Well, I guess we're going to pick up the tuning fork, or at least try to use it. Maybe, uh, finally, we're getting somewhere. And maybe this will open up a door or something. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. So does this mean we have to find more tuning forks? Maybe hit them all, hit them multiple times? Let's try it. I don't think that did anything. So I guess we just move on, maybe find some more. Not sure exactly what the point is of these, uh, what did they call them? Tuning forks, but maybe there's a purpose for it here later on in the game. I'm not sure if we need to just keep trying to find more. It's, I'm sure there's got to be some more around here somewhere. Oh, here's a mirror on the wall. What it, oh, there's one. There's one way up there. Let's see if we can ring the tuning fork on this. Maybe it would open up a door or something. That That's cool. I was definitely picking up something. I think they're pieces of a puzzle. We need more of them to find out what it is. Okay, that's a good explanation. I guess it is part of a big puzzle. So we'll just keep on running around while still kind of exploring every corner and nick and cranny of this place in the dark. Yeah, it just looks like it's just nothing but doors. And at first I thought that was a tuning fork on the table, but that looked nothing of the sort. So we'll just continue on running and see if we... Oh, there's a way down. Let's see. We can just go down here and find out a new area in the game. It just keeps, we just keep going down and down and down. Deeper and deeper into the building palace, whatever they call this thing. Uh, it seems like it's getting darker too. That door is different. Wait, what door is different? There's doors everywhere. What are we, what is the game trying to show us? Is this door is different? Let's see, there's doors everywhere. I don't think this thing's any different than any other one. Unless there's something over here. Oh, it's another drop. Oh, there's a big door. Look at that big door. That door is definitely different. I think we just have to drop down. <coughs> hey, what is that? A little pedestal. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. And the yellow triangle icon just blipped on our character, so I'm not sure what that means. If it means that there's something of interest or that we have to go to. Not sure exactly what that is. Let's see what all these, these nook and crannies have. Look at this door. This door is completely different. Although it does not look like the door does much of anything. Let's see what this thing does. I don't think there's anything to do with this pedestal. There's nothing here. I guess we still have to just continue on with some exploration. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, 
Surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. You resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Gran spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Well, there's really nothing left to do here, so let's just continue on running. Let's see if we can get down. Hey, there's another drop down area. Or something's down there below. I think we could probably just... Yep, drop down again, descend. Keep on seeing where the game wants us to go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're down here further. And... I just do not see anything of interest around these parts. There's a stairway up. And I don't think there's anything else over there either, so we'll just continue on up and see what's over here. It's all more of the same. Hey, this looks different. What is that? Hmm. These, I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Okay, let's see if uh, we can get a little closer and look around. Maybe there's some more clues. Yeah, I think there's something there. There's nothing up over that way, so this has got to be it. I think there's something to do with this thing. See what it does. Pick up. Do press E. Okay. And well, that's it. There's nothing else to do with it. Yeah, I guess we'll just carry it with us. I'm sure we have to use it somewhere. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up, and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. So we need to find our way back to that pedestal with the hole in it because that's where most likely the scepter will be used. And hopefully we can find our way back because it is somewhat of a maze kind of thing. So I just don't want to get lost and have to backtrack and waste a bunch of time. So I think I think there's nothing else over there. I think it's just, we just backtrack and hopefully when we arrive back at the pedestal that we can actually use the darn thing. There's really not a lot else to do. I don't think there's any other clues and nothing else to really do around here. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. It sounds very much like he does not want us to succeed for some reason, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's put it in the pedestal and see what the heck happens. Hopefully something happens. It's the only thing we can do. Oh, place key. There we go. Let's try this out. Now, let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did. 
The hundreds are resourceful for this. I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, pierces the skin and slithers inside. And for half an hour it consumes everything. All that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. You called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. <laughs> oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Yeah, see, of course it had to work, because what else could have we done? This was the only thing that was possible. Alright, so the door is open. Let's go. Do you see that? The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. Alright, so now we're going to do some more running around in this new uncovered area. And the ceiling looks really cool. Man, this place is huge though. Look at how big this place is. I don't know if this is randomly generated or if we just keep running in one direction and it's always the same or if it makes one big whole loop again look how long it would take us to run all the way i don't think i want to try but it just seems like it's kind of cool this place is huge this hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were you finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. I compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet. The palace is everywhere, all the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. So, like they already thought, the entire structure, the whole planet, or structure, whatever this is, is the entire palace. That's cool. I don't know if we'll ever get to see the whole thing, but... Let's see... Oh, I bet this is another area we can look down there. Let's down there. Can we get it? No, we can't get there. Oh! Descend! Yeah! Let's try it. I hope we get some answers soon because we have been doing nothing but running around. I'm getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. What? We have a HUD? Come on now. We could have made use of that a long time ago. So now we have this triangle floating that tells us kind of which way to go and how many feet away something is. It's slowly uncovering, you know, bits and pieces of the game, which, I mean, it's cool, but it's taking a good while to get going here, which is finally making some pace. We've got to give it to him, the old man. This place is spectacular. Nothing but an infinite palace would suffice for you resourcefuls. I wish you'd stop calling me a resourceful. It's what you are. I had the training, but I never bought into Gramps' vision. I never wanted any of this. Yet here you are. I was six the first time I ran away. I hiked for weeks to see what was beyond the gardens. When I finally reached the wall, Gramps was there waiting for me. There's nothing out there but people living like animals, fighting to please their immediate needs and desires. They have no ambition, no perspective. Why fight to get the best out of the little time you have on Earth when you could be fighting to have much more? He went on about the wonders of the palace, but he had already lost me. 
All I could hear was the blood rushing in my veins. I wanted that. To fight for the here and now. I decided that I would do whatever it took to make that happen. So I went back with him to follow the training, figuring I'd need it to get away. And I was good. He called me his prize. Before the turn, I ran, just shy of 15. I've been out for seven years now. Not really what you'd call a running away from home excursion. Not really, no. London, you've got to believe me. Foster was a bloody mess and wouldn't have made it out alive. None of us would if I tried to escape with him like that. He gave you the lighter, so he must have wanted me to take you here. But he would never buy into your grandfather's delusions. It's so far-fetched, it almost makes me sick. It is interesting that now that we have the HUD, we can focus on trying to get closer to where it wants us to go. Yet, while listening to the banter of these two and how the story slowly unfolds, that's really kind of a nice touch because that way you can just fully listen to their dialogue while still kind of in the background trying to figure out where to go, where to run to. It's a nice touch. Um, I think I think the game really uh, is starting to pick up its pace and give us some more background story because um, on what we're really even trying to accomplish. And I think now I'm lost. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to figure out where to run here. I guess this is this another area we can drop down? No. Oh yeah, there it is. It's descend. Okay, let's descend. And we keep dropping lower and lower and lower into this palace. Okay, yeah, so we gotta go through this area. Hey, it looks like we're coming up upon something and we're getting very close to our destination, finally what this thing is. What do we gotta do here? Oh no, there's another door and it's closed. I'm not sure what what we have to do at this point. Maybe there's another tuning fork or something that might open the door. Not sure exactly what is happening. Oh no, it, it is right behind this door. Is that a throne? Well, right when we think we are lost, I guess the game obviously will point out the obvious. Is that a throne? Looks like it does look kind of look like a big chair. Has a circle on it. We can interact with it. Hit the space bar. Climb up. Oh, it's actually opening the door. Oh, I think that's our cue to uh, get the heck in there and see what we're supposed to be doing because we are now very close to our destination see what happens well surprise surprise we are not going back and this seems to be the only direction forward so let's go this must be it now i'm not sure what it is but it does show that the triangle that is our destination. The numbers are getting smaller, so we're getting closer. So far, this has been a very mysterious opening to the game, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. And I'm sure we are about to find out right now. Something's not right. I'm picking up a whole load of anomalies. It, 